Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Steven. I'm on a long layover here in Boston, and I was just about to start heating up some food when I realized this is a perfect opportunity to begin a comparison video. I have not done one of those in a long time. Um, but I um, use, if you know my channel or any other flight attendant, uh, most of us use a Hot Logic Mini right there. And this one, I, look at that. Oh my God. It looks so much worse on camera than it does in person. Uh, but this is four and a half years old. I use it every single trip, even if I have a microwave sometimes. But you know, you get in your hotel room after a long day, like a red eye like I had. Uh, you get into your room and you take your uniform off and then you realize there's no microwave in the room. <sighs> and you have to put clothes back on. Go downstairs, microwave your food. It's so hot and you can't really carry it up back up to your room, it's a mess. Hot object Benny to the rescue, right? I've used this pretty much, again, every trip for four and a half years. Um, I actually like, even if I have a microwave, I'll use my Hot Logic Mini because the food is like just gently warmed up. It's not like abused by the microwave where it's cold in the middle, hot and dry on the outside and blah, blah, blah. Um, well, I was recently sent a product. This is, this is not a sponsored video. Um, I don't, I have not been approached by anybody to sponsor my videos yet, which makes me a little worried, but I'm also fine with it because uh, I secretly hate sponsored videos. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said it. But um, I was recently uh, emailed by a company called Sabot Heat. Sabot Heat, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. That's it right there. Um, I was emailed, a very nice email uh, by this company. And I get the occasional email from like Amazon people um, saying, hey, would you, you know, we're gonna send you this free dog collar or um, a, a messenger bag or whatever just try it out and include it in one of your videos and i'm like not interested delete right well this email that this company sent me was actually very very nice and they said hey we have this product this uh we uh and we like your videos thank you uh but they wanted to send me this for free um i didn't pay for this uh and this is not a sponsored video because they're not giving me money <laughs> They just sent me a product. Um, but they said, would you mind trying this out? And maybe if you like it, maybe share it with your, your subscribers. And I thought, well, this is perfect because I have been, this has been my life. My Hot Logic Mini has been everything, but there are things I hate about it. So um, I figured this is a perfect time to begin a comparison video between this Sabbath heat, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, um, and my Hot Logic Mini. So I'm gonna just give you a quick overview of the structure of the bag, and then um, I'm gonna heat up my food for dinner tonight, and then I'll let you know what I think about that, and we'll go from there, all right? So hold on a sec, and I'll show you what the bags look like in direct comparison. All right, so I'm sorry if the lighting is so bad, but I just put my macaroni and cheese in here. I have it in a stainless steel container that I got at Ikea. Um, I had, for storage in my lunch bag, I bought the lid that attaches to that, but it's plastic and silicone. I don't know how heat proof this is, and I'm gonna try this thing at high heat today. So um, I instead bought this, which is like a little silicone floppy lid that Ikea uh, sells with this little um, stainless steel thing. So I'm putting this, the silicone lid on top. They don't want you to um, seal the container closed completely. It's gotta have some way to vent. So um, I bought this thing. So I put my macaroni and cheese in there. Ta-da! And you know, I'm gonna close it up. The zipper is really nice and smooth. No complaints there. Uh, and I have it plugged in. Now here, let's see if I can zoom in here. So here is the um, control thing. So you hit M right here for a second and a half. It turns on. See the little flashing light here? That tells me that it's gonna auto off or turn off automatically at 180 minutes. But I don't want that. I wanna hit the M again. I'm gonna hit the minus button all the way down to 30 minutes, 30. Uh, so it'll turn off automatically at 30 minutes. The little S's, do you see that on top here? That little squiggly thing? I think that's supposed to be like heat rising up. It's at um, level one. So I'm gonna hit M again and once more time. 
to change that. And I want that all the way up to six. I want to try it out at six. I was a little anxious because I don't want like the food to get, I don't know, I've never used it before. I don't want the food to get so hot that it gets dry and stuck to the bottom of the container because if I were at home, I would be easier to wash a pan like this one, but I'm in a hotel room, so I really don't want to scrub pots and pans. So, but I want to try this out at level six. Oh, look. Oh, that's nice. It has a, the timer actually goes down. I'm not sure why I'm so surprised by that, but, <laughs> uh, but so now I have it set up at level six, which is very hot. Um, to, and it tells you to like, be careful because it really gets hot and it's so well insulated that I imagine it must get really, really toasty inside here. Um, so I have it set at level six for heat, um, at 30 minutes at automatic shut off. So I'm going to let it sit for 30 minutes. I'm going to go the whole 30 minutes. All right. So this is the, um, operation manual. You have color options for the trim. Here it warns you not to use plastic paper uh, containers because they might melt or burn. Um, so that is something. Um, I don't like the fact that I have to decant my food into an aluminum or a, a glass container, but uh, if it means it doesn't burn or melt, I will do that. Um, oh, here, instructions on how to use the timer and the power heat controller thing. All right, so it took me about 30 seconds to figure it out, so that's fine. But I sat down, uh, when I opened this up, I sat down and read the instructions. Not good. Um, so whoever um, is wrote the instructions out here, just I would encourage them to find a native English speaker to rewrite these, because the instructions, however they're translated from whatever language, not good. Just just a not, not, not helpful at all. So... Again, it only took me 30 seconds to figure it out, so no huge loss, but it would have been nicer just to have an easy, um, easier read there. Uh, cooking tips in terms of how long some things might take. Uh, this is nice. This is the uh, power consumption reference here. So on heating levels one through six, it goes from 30 watts to 110 watts. I think the Hot Logic Mini is around 40 or 45 watts for some reason. One of the things I do frequently with the Hot Logic Mini, uh, and I certainly pack my food this way, is by putting most of my food in uh, Ziploc bags, uh, Ziploc freezer bags, keep that in point, uh, a freezer bag. And um, I can just throw that in my Hot Logic Mini and heat up food that way. Um, so I would like to try it with the Sabbath heat because it's just easier to carry food around in a Ziploc bag rather than a metal or a, a glass container. It's just, my bag is already heavy enough. So I'm gonna try that out. It clearly takes longer to heat up like a Hot Logic, but I'm gonna try it out. Um, in the back here are some recipes that are just totally worth skipping entirely, i.e. Um, banana pancakes. Ingredients, one banana, two eggs, a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. That's it. No flour, nothing. Uh, and I can't imagine that turns into a pancake, but I might try it out just for kicks because that sounds, if that worked, that'd be kind of fun. Um, so the recipes are definitely worth skipping, but so far, so good. All right, so my expectations were a little unreasonable, I will admit. Um, I did look at the reheating guidelines again here, and it did suggest that something that was as cold as my food was, that at level six, I might have to have it on for about an hour. So um, my expectations for a half hour were a little unreasonable. So we'll see what happens. I reset it for another half hour. I've got 24 minutes left. Um, so let's see what happens after another half hour in the oven. Ooh, I'll tell you, it is hot. My food is very, very hot. So I'm gonna finish eating dinner. Oh my. It's hot. I'm gonna finish eating dinner. Oh, and then um, clean the bottom of the pan. The, the little stainless steel thing is very hot. Uh, I'm curious about what the bottom is like, if it's like cooked onto the bottom or not. We'll see, because I'm in a hotel room most of the time. Scrubbing pots and pans is not what I wanna do. So we'll see what happens. Um, and it looks like if if the bottom is like hot and like kind of stuck to the bottom, I might in the future just put it at level five maybe for maybe an hour because this is really pretty, pretty stinking hot. 
So I'll let you know what cleanup is like. All right, so this is the bottom of my pan. It's not baked on, but there are a couple spots where I'm, I know I'm gonna have to scrub to clean this. Um, this macaroni and cheese was originally in a plastic container from the grocery store. So I had to put it in here and now I have to clean this, which is kind of a negative for me in a hotel room. Um, but in my hot logic mini, I wouldn't have um, had to clean this. I would just put the original container in the hot logic mini, but it would have taken me like twice as long to get the macaroni and cheese hot. So I guess there is a trade off. Now I have to soak this in the sink and then scrub this uh, tomorrow morning before I pack up my stuff to go. So there's a plus and a minus on, on cleanup. All right, so it's the next night. I'm on a layover here in Denver. I spent most of the day walking around Denver and I am starving. So I'm hoping my uh, little Sabot heat can uh, help me out with that. I have a really big and very, very thick chicken breast that's stuffed with uh, broccoli and cheese in my little stainless container. My little uh, silicone lid, which hopefully will keep all the moisture in, um, is on top. I just zip this up and then I really like how easy the zipper works. That's nice. And let's turn it on. So I'm gonna whoop, get in the camera. I'm gonna press uh, M for a second and a half. I'm going to reduce the uh, automatic turn off time for 90 minutes, if you can see that. And I'm gonna hit the M button twice to increase the heat temperatures to six. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna leave this in here for uh, at level six for 90 minutes in hopes that that's enough to get my uh, chicken breast hot. My Hot Logic Mini would probably take, mm, I'd say two hours to get really hot. So I'm gonna see what happens at 90 minutes and um, we'll see what happens. I'll let you know when I, uh, when the timer shuts off. All right, the timer is done for the inside feels very, very warm. Oh, see the steam running? <laughs> Sorry, my camera lens is all steamed up. That was very hot. The, even the silicone thing I have here is very hot. So let's, <clears throat> can you see the steam rising off that? Yeah, it's crazy. All right, so let's dig in. Let's see if that is hot. That's uh, broccoli and rice. Oh, ow. Mm. <laughs> All right. So that is piping hot. That is a big success. Now I'm going to excuse myself and eat my very delicious dinner. Hey guys. Hi. So I'm in my room in Orlando on a moderately long layover, but all I really did is sleep for most <laughs> most of this layover. Um, it is uh, 12.57, my van is at 4.30 to the airport from my flight to Charlotte and then back here to Orlando. Um, I need to leave my room just for, a, just for a little while, just to stretch my legs, get some air, because I've been in this hotel room for quite a while. So uh, I'm gonna put some food, lunch, in my um, Sabo heat. Uh, now, I am not putting it at level six as I have for my other foods because I did not take a container. For some reason, I did not pack an appropriate metal or glass container. Instead, I know this doesn't look very appetizing, it's chicken uh, tikka masala from Costco. Ta-da, isn't that appealing looking? <laughs> Looks like an organ transplant. Um, but I, it's in a, a very durable plastic little uh, package here, sealed. So I'm going to put it in my Sabbath heat as an experiment because they told me not to, of course, uh, in the instruction booklet. Uh, but I'm going to put it at like level three for like an hour and a half. Now with my Hot Logic Mini, I wouldn't worry about this. I would just throw this thing. I'm sorry, it's so unappealing. I would just <laughs> throw it in my hot logic and you plug it in, assuming it's working, because I can't tell, right? Unless you hold your hand on it until it starts to heat up. Um, I throw it in my hot logic mini and then just go out for the day. And as long as I'm gone, I could be gone for 10 hours, I'd come back and this would be hot, but not burnt or melted or anything. So that's the selling point for hot logic mini. 
I'm gonna try something out something out here. Like I said, but putting it maybe at level three instead of six uh, for maybe an hour and a half. And uh, hopefully I'll be back within an hour and a half uh, to eat hopefully a warm meal. Uh, but if I'm not back in an hour and a half, say I'm gone for two hours, I know that this is gonna turn off and I won't have to worry about setting the hotel on fire. That's a plus, right? All right, so let's put this in here. Let's, so there's my tikka masala. I do have some rice, which I can throw in the microwave when I'm ready, because uh, it's already in its own little bowl. It's our pre-packaged rice bowl. So I'm gonna plug this in and watch what happens here. Let me plug this in. <laughs> See how it flashes on and then it's off. So I know automatic, I know right away it's working. I'm still traumatized by the fact that that Hot Logic Mini in Kansas City didn't heat up for an hour and a half. I was so upset. Uh, so I'm gonna um, hit that for an hour, uh, a second and a half. I'm going to reduce, oh. no. <laughs> I'm gonna reduce this to 90 minutes. That's an hour and a half. And then I'm going to set the heat level to three. See that? And I'm just gonna let it be. I'm gonna let it sit here and go for my walk. All right, so you can see the timer has turned off. I got to my room probably about an hour and 45 minutes after I set this thing to heating up. Uh, and uh, again, let me, let me pause for a moment. Again. I should warn you, the instruction manual on this thing tells you not to do what I did. I'm just doing it out of a sense of exploration to compare it to my Hot Logic Mini. Uh, so I put my food in here, again, in the plastic container it came in with not nothing glass or metal or aluminum as the company tells you to in the instruction manual. So this is all on me, it's all on me, but did it work? Yes, it turned out fine. In fact, it's like ridiculously hot. So um, I might do this again. If I do it again, I'll probably put it on level two and not three for an hour and a half because my food is super, super hot. So let's take a look at it. All right, so the container, the plastic bag that this came in is still perfectly intact. Uh, so it did not melt or even come close to melting at level heat level three, but the food is like ridiculously hot. It's like too hot to eat at level three for an hour and a half. So again, next time I might only do it for an hour, but my hot logic mini would have taken an hour and a half and it would have been warm, you know? I don't know, but blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna stop talking and rip this open and throw some rice and eat. So I will see you later. Can you see the steam rising from my lunch? Oh, so excited. This is the chicken uh, tikka masala I got at uh, Costco and underneath is uh, some rice uh, that was already pre-cooked but uh, man can you see the steam it is boiling hot this is um, at level three after an hour and a half so life lesson I'll keep it to level two for an hour and a half or just keep it to an hour but either way it is a big win very excited Right, so I've just heated up some chicken that I got at Walmart, and you can see it's in a plastic tray. Let me talk to you. Oh, I look like a mess. I'm sorry. Um, but uh, so Sabbath Heat specifically says in their instructions not to use a plastic tray uh, in their device. But if this is going to take the place of my Hot Logic Mini, I have to be able to put something like plastic in it. That's just the reality. So I know the instruction manual says don't do it because somebody is going to put a plastic tray in there at level at level six for our three hours and there's going to be a big problem. So I know that's why they probably had to put it in there, but reality is, again, if this is going to take the place of a Hot Logic Mini, which it has, sorry to ruin the surprise, um, I have to be able to put plastic in there. So this little plastic tray got super hot without melting, which is great, because I had it at level two for 90 minutes while I was playing Skyrim on my laptop. So the food is very, very hot without scalding, but it's very hot. 
uh, and I'm very pleased. So I'm going to finish my dinner, play some more Skyrim, and then I'll do like sort of a wrap up in terms of pros and cons between uh, the uh, Sabbath Heat and my Hot Logic Mini. So I'll see you in a minute. Hey guys, welcome home. I'm in my little jungle here. I'm back in Las Vegas. The last time you saw me, I was in, I think, Atlanta, telling you that I was going to wrap up this video, and I didn't. Sorry. Um, I just must have taken a nap or whatever. But I got back from my trip yesterday, and I figured, let's just get this video done, this little comparison video. I wanted it to be like 10 minutes and I have a sneaking suspicion it's not going to be 10 minutes. But um, so let's go over some pluses and minuses for both the Hot Logic Mini and the Sabo Heat. Sabo Heat or Sabo Heat? Is the T silent? I don't know. Um, so this is the Hot Logic Mini. You've seen this before. You probably have one. If you're watching this video, you probably already have one. All you do, you throw food in here, you plug it in, you wait and you wait and you wait, and you have hot food. Um, and then we have our sa ha Sabot heat, or Sabo heat right here. You plug it in, you get the chance to set how long you want this to be on, at what heat level, and then you have hot food. Usually faster than the Hot Logic Mini. But there's pluses and minuses to both. So let's talk about pluses for the Hot Logic Mini. I wrote them down. So I wrote down my, it's just top of the, top of my head thoughts. Shallow, but holds plenty of food. So that's a plus for me. This is a very shallow device. You can see it's like just not even, a, I, have, I have little tiny hands, huge feet, little tiny hands. Um, but it's not a very deep, it's not a very deep device. So I can put my food in here, get it hot in whatever container I want, plastic, glass, metal, whatever. Um, and I literally will leave it plugged in at the hotel desk where I'm playing a video game or watching YouTube, I can leave it plugged in hot and eat out of the container, which is probably why it looks like this. Um, and for me, that's a plus. Like it's like eating off a hot plate uh, and um, I, my food doesn't cool off or get cold. I frequently eat macaroni and cheese because it's easy uh, and there's nothing worse than cold, gloppy macaroni and cheese. So it stays nice and hot, ooey gooey while I eat and I can take my time. That's a plus for me. Um, so another plus, uh, it fits the top uh, container or top compartment of any of the uh, commonly used flood attendant that lunch bags that we carry. Flood attendants frequently carry a um, crew, uh, uh, e bags crew cooler too, Majecto, the large one, uh, LifeWit is a very popular bag lately, the past few weeks. I've seen a lot of people carrying those. Strong bags, Travel Pro, they all make flight attendant crew bags or lunch bags that we all carry. And the Hot Logic Mini fits in the top compartment of any of the regular size bags. None of the little teeny turn bags, but you just crush it up and it fits in the top compartment. So you can have your food and your little portable oven all in one bag and it's super handy. So. Um, now, I almost never use my um, e-bags crew cooler because it's just too small for me for a regular trip, but it, this even fits in the top of that. Um, I can leave it plugged in for hours and hours and it never burns. That's the truth. I have gone into Newark, plugged in my Hot Logic Mini, and then gone into New York for five or six hours, come back to find my food hot, 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 never burned, never scorched. No matter what material I have my food in, be it a freezer bag or a stainless steel container. So I can let it sit for hours and hours. Now that could be a plus or a minus, but for me that's a plus. Another big plus, and one of the biggest pluses is that it heats up your food, but at a very low temperature or a low heat. It's like a slow cooker. So I can put food because it's easy to store and pack and travel with into a uh, Ziploc freezer, like a freezer bag, like a quart size freezer bag. I can throw that plastic bag in my Hot Logic Mini and heat it up and not worry about that plastic bag melting or burning uh, because the Hot Logic doesn't get that hot. It's just sustained heat. So I don't have to worry about what material I'm using. <laughs> Sorry, cat hair. Um, in my Hot Logic Mini, that's a huge plus, and probably its biggest plus. 
So, oh, and it's frequently on sale. If you go to the Hot Logic uh, website, it's frequently on sale. I last year bought four Hot Logic minis. I know, and mine looks like this. I bought four of them. One is a backup for me because I thought, well, I'm gonna always use a Hot Logic mini. I should ever, I should have a backup. And then I bought a couple extras for gifts for new hires or for a giveaway on, on my YouTube channel. So I had a little gift closet with some things in there, you know. And so I had some Hot Logic minis. Wouldn't that be a great gift for a new hire, right? Um, so I bought a bunch of them because they were $15 a piece at that time. So they're frequently on sale. So that's on the website, not on the Amazon website, although you might find small coupons. Um, so let's talk about negatives for the Hot Logic Mini. Um, there's no power switch. You just plug it in. You don't know how it's on or off or if the outlet you're using works or not. I've already told you the story, but I'll tell you again. I was in Kansas City on a long sit between two flights. I plugged in a Hot Logic Mini and the outlet was behind a gate agent's um, stand. She showed me where the outlet was and allowed me to use it. So I plugged it in. Assuming it's an outlet at a gate agent station at the airport, I assumed that outlet would work. Silly me. An hour and a half later, I come back expecting a hot meal. It's room temperature. And I'm even freaked out. Do I even eat it now that it's been sitting here, you know, at room temperature for an hour and a half? But um, so there's no uh, power switch. You don't know whether or not it's on or off. Um, uh, it... Uh, takes a long time to get hot. Uh, like I said, it's like a slow cooker. It doesn't get super hot. It's not like a stove top or a microwave. It's like a slow cooker. So if your food's frozen, it's gonna take you two hours. It's gonna take a couple hours. So if you're the kind of person who plugs in your hot lunch of any, or remembers to at the hotel before you take that two hour nap, before you go into the city or explore on a layover, the hot logic mini will work out fine for you, but if you just want your food in 45 minutes, a half hour, the hot logic mini is going to suffer, uh, or you're going to suffer with your hot logic mini. Um, and uh, God, again, God help you if it's frozen; it's going to take you forever. So there's just some pluses and minuses with the hot logic mini. It's not like I hate it. I know I sound like I hate it now. I still love it, and I think it has a place in my life just not frequently, maybe. So this Sabbat heat, which is right here, and again, I'm not sure if it's Sabo heat or Sabbat heat, but plus is there is a timer. I can have an automatic shut off. I won't have to worry if I do go into New York City for six, eight hours. I won't have to think, oh my God, is my, is my, um, my little portable oven still plugged in? Am I gonna burn the hotel down? Um, so I don't have to worry about it. It has an automatic shut off and it works. I've used it a number of times this last trip, actually this past two trips. Uh, it has uh, six heat settings. You can go from super low, like a slow cooker, into something, I don't know what the temperature range is gonna be especially, but exactly, but it gets very, very hot, very, very fast. So if you don't have two hours for a frozen meal, I suspect you could probably put it in there for half the time or maybe a little bit more than, than an hour to get food that's hot from frozen, depending on how thick and how dense your food is. Um, so I really do think you're gonna get um, more flexibility and more versatility. Versatility? Yes. With your um, temperature settings and what you can do with it and how long it will take to do those things. Um, let's see. And uh, it's volume. It's very deep. I think I showed you how shallow the Hot Logic Mini was. And then look at the Sabbath heat. It's very deep from top to bottom. It has the same footprint. It's just that it's very deep. Um, and so you can put any container in there. If you have a, 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 a screw top jar, if you have a, a bowl or a larger, deeper pro, uh, container in here, you have plenty of space. Um, that's a plus. Let's talk about the negatives. It's very deep from top to bottom. And it just holds a lot because it is a lot. Uh, it does not fit in the top compartment of the uh, e-bags crew cooler too. So if you have that as a lunch bag still, um, it's not going to fit in the top compartment. You're going to have to stuff it in your 
roller bag. And this takes up about the same size as a pair of ladies shoes. I mean, it's, it's fairly, fairly large thing. Uh, the padding on the inside is pretty similar in density, I think, to the Hot Logic Mini. The surface is a little smoother. You can see that versus this, which looks like um, a tarp or the inside of like an um, uh, Ikea bag. It has that texture. Um, but it takes, takes up a lot of volume. It does not fit in the top of a smaller cooler. So that might be a, a minus for you. For me, I use a Majecto uh, large uh, lunch bag or a lunch cooler every trip for the most part. And it fits. There's plenty of room. Not as much as when I use my Hot Logic Mini. But I can still put flat stuff inside here. And there's still space on the side. Uh, inside my cooler so I can actually fit this in my lunch bag. So um, that is a minus. It's a plus and a minus. Uh, and um, it's, de uh, it's also deep. I'm sorry for the brain fart there. So I told you it's deep. So it takes up a lot of room in the bag. But, and this is the only minus probably for me. This is probably the only thing that it's, it's very personal to me and how I use these things. I told you, I sometimes eat out of this. The container's inside the, the, the uh, little oven there, but sometimes I use it like a hot plate to keep my food hot while I'm eating. Well, this is so deep that the food's sitting down deep in here in this little well, and it's not, it's not feasible for me to eat out of this thing, which I know that sounds like I'm an animal, but that's how I use my device when I'm all by myself in my hotel room. So the fact that it's very deep is a selling point, but it's also kind of a minus. So I literally have to lift the food out um, of the container and then set it on something on my um, desktop when I'm in the hotel room to eat out of. Uh, the other minus, which I have worked around, but it is a, a minus for me, is that uh, Sabot Heat really wants you to use a glass a high temperature um, silicone or glass container to heat your food up because you could potentially get this very, very hot inside there. They don't want you using um, plastic containers, which is what most refrigerated or frozen foods come in if you buy it at the grocery store. Um, or if I frequently have to pack a lot of food in a lunch bag, I'll put food in a freezer bag, like a quart sized freezer bag. And uh, because this can get so hot, <clears throat> those plastics can melt, scorch, catch fire, all sorts of stuff, right? So they're telling you to only use metal, stainless steel, or silicone that's you know up for high temperatures. Um, so for me, that's a negative. Um, I frequently have pre-made, um, pre store-bought food that's in a plastic container. I don't wanna have to put it into a separate container that's metal or glass or silicon, and then have to wash or scrub those pots and pans in a hotel room. That's just something I don't want to do. Um, so to uh, to get and then, and then to get food out of this when it's hot, if you don't have a lid on it, because they don't want you to seal your food in something either. So if you have like lock and not not lock and lock, but if you have some sort of um, container for your food that seals with the silicone rings and stuff, they don't want you sealing it because that could potentially cause some pressure inside the container and that could be unpleasant when you open it. That could be dangerous. So there's just some um, limitations on what Sabbath Heat wants you to use in terms of the container for the food you uh, are heating up. I have work workarounds for those where I've got uh, a silicone lid that just drops on top of a stainless steel container. I've used that in this video. Uh, and that's been a workaround for me. I had to sit in the kitchen, the bathroom sink with a scrub, a scrub pad and some dish soap and scrub out a metal pan while I'm on a layover. Not something I want to do. I'm lazy. I'm eating out of my hot logic, tell you how lazy I am. But the workaround for me is that I use it on lower heat temperatures, lower heat settings for a uh, lower automatic time off in a plastic container or a freezer bag. And I've done that a couple times and it's worked. Again, Savo Heat doesn't want you doing that because you could potentially burn yourself, hurt yourself, all sorts of stuff. So 
Again, you can tell this is not a sponsored video. I'm not sure if I've said that yet, and I probably should. Um, so those are my pluses and minuses for the Sabbath heat as well. So once again, I'm not sure if I've mentioned this is not a sponsored video. I'm not being paid for it. Sabbath heat saw my YouTube channel said, Hey, Steven, do you want to try this out? If you like it, would you mind sharing it with your, your subscribers? That's what I'm doing. I love my Sabbath heat. I will use this. I left this at home on my last trip. Uh, I didn't take it. It was the first time in four and a half years I left the house without my Hot Logic Mini. Uh, my Sabbath Heat did everything my Hot Logic Mini does, but it also did it with the the time and the speed and the assurance that it was actually on. Um, so I took my my Sabbath Heat with me. I'm gonna leave my Hot Logic Mini at home um, in the event that. I don't know why I might use it. I mean, I'm not gonna throw it away, but I'll use my hot Sabbath heat. What I'm gonna uh, watch for is over the course of time to see whether or not this still continues to work. Um, oh, one last thing, if you're still watching this video, I did see someone on, on Facebook talk about their experience with Sabbath heat. They plugged it in on an airplane. My company doesn't allow us to do that. That's not something my company, we can't plug anything into an outlet on our plane. They're not designed for the same wattage or whatever. Um, so their uh, thing here melted on the airplane because the outlet is not for this. It's for whatever equipment the airline uses on the airplane. So this melted, the inside of this melted. So don't plug this in on the airplane. Don't plug it in on an airplane. Do you hear me? Um, I just, it just would not be good or safe. Blah, blah, blah. So um, I'm going to put links below um, the description box here, in the description box. Um, again, I'm not being sponsored, but the links I'm using are going to be Amazon um, links. That I am technically an Amazon affiliate. I just never suggest products. I never do videos like this, really. Um, so any link I have in the description box is an affiliate link. So technically in some parallel universe, I will be paid if a lot of you buy these things. And I don't know if that many people are going to watch this video. Uh, but so I am, this is an affiliate link. I'm not used to actually doing these. Uh, but um, just so you can sit there and compare my experience with the reviews you see on Amazon. Uh, I think Sabbath Heat has a coupon attached to the Amazon, uh, like 20% off or something at this time. I don't know for sure, but blah, blah, blah. I keep talking. Let me let you go. If you have any questions, drop them below in the uh, the, uh, just, uh, the uh, uh, comment section. I'll do my best to answer them. Um, I look at every, uh, I look at every single comment on every one of my videos. Um, usually they're very nice. The mean ones, I will let frequently let pass. If you're just a jerk, uh, and want to say something awful and just demeaning or whatever, I might come back and clap at you because this is my channel and I can say what I want. But um, otherwise, leave a comment below. <laughs> just be nice, right? I'll talk to you later. Bye. Uh, and if you're a regular subscriber of mine, fly safe.